Hi everyone, we will see the PPT regarding 8051 The contents what I am going to cover in this PPT are the main objective of this 8051 and what are the timers or counters we are going to see and the registers what it is using in timers or counters. Objective Embedded systems with timer or counter. We will see briefly into this PPT. And 8051 with two timers or counters, mainly classified as timer 0, timer 1, and counter 0, counter 1. Timers or counters. Timer generator is used to generate a time delay generator. Here, whatever the clock shows, that will be the internal crystal frequency for 8051 controller. And counter is nothing but the number of counts what is going to occur externally. So external interrupt, when it when interrupt occurs, there it is called as counter. For example, if we take an entrance, we can count the number of people, those who are passing through the entrance. So their counter comes into the picture. And timers, whatever the clock frequency we have given, that will be taken as 1 by 12th of the frequency and that will be given to timer without any calculation of machine cycles or pulses. If you want to calculate the pulses, we can calculate using timers. And using any displays, we can connect to any ports and we can see the timer value. Counter. I already told that the counter is nothing but the number of events. And when the counter comes into picture, we can say that when external interrupt occurs, their counter will come. So here, generally, in a controller, default it will access in time mode. So if you give a time mode 0, then it will be treated as counter. So because it is always acted as a C slash T bar. So if you give us 0, time mode will take and counter will not come into picture. So here in port 3.4 and 5, counters and time modes will be acted. For reference, we can see the pin diagram. So, as, as like timers, counters also seem like that. If you want to see, you can connect the LCD with any ports and we can check the values. This is a block diagram regarding counter or timer 0. And whatever the crystal frequency we are given, that will be taken as 12, 1 by 12. And if it is counter or timer based on our wish, we can see with lower and higher nibbles. If you want timer, we can see the timer. If you want counter, we can go for counter. Here TR is nothing but timer run. It is set by a programmer to check whether it is a timer or counter. TR0 denotes timer 0 or counter 0. TR1 denotes for timer 1 or counter 1. And this is the block diagram for timer or counter. TF is mainly used when there is a roll from 0, 0 to FF. There it will be set to 1. It is not set by programmer. It is internally set by the controller. If any interrupt occurs, there it is once again enabling the ISR, interrupt service routine. Same as like timer 0 and counter 0, the block diagram for timer or counter 1. Here the flags, here the registers will be taken as TR1 and TF1. The operations will be same. The registers what we have used in timer or counter, same. TH0, TL1. TL0, sorry. Here, timer is 16 bit, so we have split it into 2, 8 bit and 8 bit. Lower 8 bit is treated as TL and higher 8 bit is treated as TH. Based on timer 0 or 1, we have taken TH0 or TH1, TL0 or TL1. In the registers, T mode. T mode stands for timer mode register and TCON, timer control register. You will see these two. Yeah, said how the split ends happen between timers, lower and up, upper byte. So this is the block for that. And timer mode register. Timer mode register is an 8-bit register. You cannot access the bit. So it is not a bit addressable register. And timer 0 for lower half nibble, half byte. And timer 1 for next half byte. Here M0 and M1 for timer mode selection. And C slash T is for timer or counter selection. Gate is for gating control. 
Internally, if it is zero, then system will take care of it. If there is one hardware, we need to change it in hardware. Same like that in timer one also. TCON, timer control register. Here, TR, timer run, is, comes into picture. If TR1 is set, then there will be a rule of from lower to higher nibble, 0, 0, 002, 0, 0, 0, 002, FF, FF. If there is no roll off, then it will be 0. So it indicates TRX. If it is 0, then it will be stop. If TRX is 1, there is a roll off from 0, 0, 0, 002, FF, FF. So there we are going for TCON. And TF. TF is timer flag, which is called as a control flag mainly. And if there is an interrupt, it will be set to 1. It will trigger interrupt service routine. In case of interrupts, IT, IE, interrupt timer, interrupt enable for timer 0 or timer 1 comes into pictures. Thank you.